Okay then chaps, uh, first of all thanks for watching my little video here It's just me doing some general strength training um, This is a 220 pound sandbag 100 kilos approximately from the floor to shoulder and It was supposed to be an easy deload week really Because I didn't do any barbell pulling from the floor Not even trapped by deadlifts um, But actually it turned out they ended up a 45 minute uh, session Because it felt so good and it was so easy to do um, I didn't feel too great when I went into the gym but got warmed up and I just couldn't stop doing them so I ended up doing 45 minutes I've lost count of how many floor to shoulders I did but I would do two then just walk about for 30 seconds do it again and I got into my zone and it was brilliant um, and I think to cut to the chase is a bit of a misconception about awkward object training um, people think they're going to get injured um, because it's awkward well look at it like this if you can deadlift 600 plus pounds or even much less than that and the sandbag that you use is between 200 pound or 230 pound or whatever because it's such a light weight it's unlikely you're going to hurt yourself with that weight especially in the core and your back because you're conditioned through the barbell work to use a lot more weight put, put, pick a lot more weight off the floor than what you are in the sandbag the real risk is to your biceps uh, etc but, um, that's the truth of the matter so if you're one of these overweight middle-aged powerlifters that would like to be fitter but don't like to do long-term list cardio then this could be the answer um, I know it works it's just a case of getting off your ass and doing it but it's hard work and people don't want that as a, as a rule um, but that there the Cerberus the red sandbag is about 230 pounds it's harder because it's a bit rounder slightly heavier but it's shorter and, and rounder um, but I, all in all the sandbag work is a really great adjunct to your training for strength and it won't dig into your barbell lifts that greatly believe it or not you just get an extra sort of dimension of strength that you wouldn't ordinarily have um, the plyometric training obviously I've always done I've done that for quite some time um, it's helped tremendously to uh, maintain my leg strength on the weeks where I don't squat um, because I just squat about twice a month but if you're doing hundreds or at least a hundred reps sometimes more with weight to a bench from a box it's quite low um, you're going to build incredible explosive power which is great for your tendon lig and ligaments as you get older and teaches you to be explosive explosive strength is the thing that you lose f first as an aging athlete believe it or not um, that's why older people move slow the first thing that athletes lose is the speed but um, training like this helps maintain it I know this works it's like the seat in my own performances in other sports that I do um, the actual uh, last exercise that I did was uh, hyper extensions barbell hyper extensions but I didn't film them <coughs> the um, ab wheel here is great for my abs um, not that difficult to master within a week or two you should be able to do it obviously the further out you stretch your arms the more stimulus you get in your lower abs um, I'm trying to get to 20 reps in one set I'm doing like sets of five here um, obviously I didn't post all the video it just gets a bit boring um, but there you go guys hope uh, you got something out of it um, any questions uh, just put them in the comment section down below thanks for watching